everyone, and Happy New Year. What's up? Um, I got an interesting game to show you guys. And what do I mean interesting? Well, let's see. Is it an electronic game? Or is it something to do with emergency alerts? Well, it's very exciting. Take a look at this box. It is the one and only Simon Original from 1978. It's pretty incredible, right? I have an original Simon. I figured I'll show you some of it. Got this for Christmas last week, and I enjoy it. Now you may be wondering, why the original? Well, back when I was a kid, I grew up with this Simon, and I figured I wanted this to be part of my childhood memory because I'm graduating from high school. So as a little souvenir gift, I kind of wanted something to symbolize me moving on from childhood until the real adult world. So, so I'm going to show you a Simon game. But first, let's look at the box. It has a picture of the game. It says, five ways to play for fast and furious play action. See the back. And here you can see a picture of the game. And you see the game. It says computer control game. Think fast. Simon says, repeat my flashing lights and sounds. And then it says, Milton Bradley Electronic Games, MB Games. And then on the back, it says, and it has all three games. And it is dated 1978. That's 42 years. So now I'm gonna open up the box and show you. What the game is like. Excuse me a moment. Uh, oops. Batteries fell out. So you might be wondering, how is the game constructed? Well, you have the four colored lenses on the top. You have a series of controls. It's a little control panel here. And the panel determines like the games and things, like the different modes of the games. You have a last, start, and longest button with a start button. And then on the back, you have a battery compartment that requires 2D batteries in one 9 volt. Let me show you the D batteries real quick. I can get it open. Those are the 2D D batteries. So now what I'm and I'm for, now I'm gonna get into the general gameplay. For people who don't know Simon, basically it's a game where one of these buttons will light up and you are required to repeat the pattern of what's it like. So say it might start with green, you would hit the green button and then it would do something like green and then add another one. So maybe green, blue, and you repeat those two and then it adds more and more the, the more you go through. And it follows that same process until you reach the maximum score. So here's a game plan of game one, which is the regular Simon. Okay, now you might be wondering to yourself, wow, is that as high as it goes? That's only eight, and that doesn't seem fair that it only goes up to eight signals. 
but the answer is derives from the switch, the skill level switch. And what the skill level switch does, it's, it's a switch that allows you to adjust the maximum score of the game. So if you're on skill level one, which is what I was on, that only goes up to eight. If you move the switch to level two, that's gonna go up to 14. If you move up to level three, that's 20. And finally, if you move up to level four, that's 31 signals. So, so don't be alarmed if it don't, if it stops you at eight. That that just means you're on skill level one. If you want to go higher, you need to adjust the switch. Um, you need to adjust the switch to to a higher level. Um, and I'm gonna do a quick gameplay of level four before I show you the other games. And on the fifth and the sixth, tenth, and fourteenth sequence, it speeds up. So I'm gonna stop at the fourteen. And if you take too long or you press the wrong button, guess what happened? Yep, you get that buzzer sound, which means the game's over. Okay, and then if you wanted to do your last sequence, you hit the last button, the last key on the panel. And then to view the longest sequence during your session, you click longest. Okay, now let's move on to game two. Game two is kind of interesting because it allows you to make your own pattern. But it will give you the first color, but then you're on your own. You get to do whatever you like. So say, say if it starts with green, you can make your own sequence like I'm doing. So I'm doing green, y'all. And you have to repeat your own sequence. Okay, and then game three is kind of interesting. It's exactly the same as game one, but the difference is this. You start with the four colors, okay? But what happens is if, let's say you hit the wrong button. Say, let's say you, you have your control of green and red. So this is a multiplayer game where you have control one or two colors. Say you're control green and red. If you press your color out of sequence or the wrong pattern, whatnot, say if you messed up on red, what's gonna happen is it's gonna buzz you like you're and then it's gonna start a new round without the red and now you're just left with the three colors. So blue, yellow, green. And then let's see, green goes out because they hit their color out of alignment. Command, please. Cancel. Okay, so if green goes out, now it's up to yellow and blue. And if if one of those guys still go out, then whoever's left still wins. So it's like an, a process of elimination game. So let me show you how that works.
Now say, I get it wrong on green. Now what happens? Now let's say red gets out. Now it's yellow and blue. And you can tell it gets pretty repetitive. When you only have two colors, it gets very repetitive. And, the, and that's how eliminate in the game three works. So game one in the instructions, they actually call it Simon says for game one. Game two, they call player says because, you know, you're in charge and you can do whatever you want. And then game three, they call it choose your color. And the reason they call it that is, like I said earlier, it's, it's a process of elimination game, which means it's specifically designed to be for at least two people. So it's like a head-to-head -head game. Um, other than that, um, that's pretty much how it works. I really like the game. Only thing that can happen is the batteries can fall out easily on this, but that's what those old electronics, like, not all the, the covers, they're not all that secure. Like, you can't guarantee that it's going to be secure. Um, and then sometimes the lights will dim eventually, but it's not like the game's dead or anything. That's just, again, part of old electronics. Like, things may not always... Things may not always work efficiently, but at least it works. And at least I have something to remember myself as a child. For, for me moving on to adulthood. So there's a quick review of the Simon gave for you guys. Um, hope you enjoy it. And Happy New Year.